Thirty years ago, the world witnessed the worst nuclear accident in history. When Reactor 4 at the Chernobyl power plant exploded, the resulting nuclear fallout spread all across Europe. But the highest radiation doses were delivered to those tasked with cleaning up the disaster, the liquidators of Chernobyl. During the 30 years since Chernobyl exploded, the liquidators have been the subject of scientific investigation, which I have attempted to track down in its entirety, leading to a collection of almost 100 studies on the liquidators, linked in the description below this video. This body of literature overflows with evidence of a wide range of health effects the least surprising of which is an increased incidence of solid cancers. These are all the studies I found investigating the endpoint all solid cancers. The fact that the confidence interval for the mean SEER value is to the right of the value 1 means that the overall incidence of solid cancers among the liquidators is greater than expected by a degree that is statistically significant. Research also indicates a significant increase of blood cancers, or leukemia, among the liquidators. An unexpected result was the positive dose response with the variant of leukemia, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which was not elevated among survivors of the atomic bombs. Also unexpected is the wide range of non-cancer illnesses observed among the liquidators whereas among the atomic bomb survivors, increased risks of circulatory, respiratory, and digestive diseases have been observed. Non-cancer illnesses among the liquidators include diseases of circulatory, respiratory, endocrine, digestive, nervous, and immune systems, as well as cognitive impairment, schizophrenia, and birth defects in the children of liquidators. And what is particularly remarkable is not just the number of illnesses among the liquidators, but the number of illnesses 